There are millions of neurons in your brain, and each neuron produces its own electrical signals. Their combined electrical activity creates a kind of electrical pulse known as brain waves. These brain waves are a measurement of activity that's going on within your brain. The frequency of your brain waves changes according to what you are doing and how you are feeling. When slower brain waves are dominant, you feel tired, slow, or dreamy. Higher frequency brain waves are dominant when you are energetic or hyper alert. Recently, neuroscientists found that controlling the frequency of these brain waves could help improve memory recall, and maybe even improve memory loss conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. There are a few different ways to control these brain waves. These include sounds and images, as well as electrical and electromagnetic oscillations. Deep brain electrical stimulation is also used to control neural oscillations. In one study, researchers used electrical currents to stimulate the brain areas that had lost their rhythm. This dramatically improved working memory performance in older adults. Working memory is a key part of human intelligence. It is a system that temporarily stores and manages the information required to carry out complex cognitive tasks such as learning and reasoning. This working memory declines as we age or when a person suffers from neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's. The study included two groups. One group included participants in their 20s, while the other group included older participants who were in their 60s or 70s. During the study, researchers asked all the participants to perform a series of memory tasks that required them to view an image. After a brief pause, they were asked to identify whether a second image was slightly different from the original. As expected, the young adults were much more efficient at performing the task than the older group. However, when the older adults received 25 minutes of mild stimulation delivered through scalp electrodes and personalized to their individual brain circuits, the differences between the two groups vanished. This improvement continued as long as the experiment lasted, and 50 minutes after the stimulation stopped. These findings may lead to new stimulation devices that can treat deficits in memory and cognition. They could also help patients suffering from neurodegenerative diseases. In a previous study, a similar method improved math skills. Researchers pinned down the area of the brain that is responsible for mathematical ability and used a stream of magnetic pulses to temporarily disable these areas of the brain. The result was that people's abilities to perform numerical tasks declined. Their performances resembled those of people with dyscalculia, who have a difficulty comprehending mathematics. Then, the researchers did the exact opposite. They applied transcranial direct current stimulation. This is a way of enhancing brain activity using an electric current, which resulted in improved mathematical abilities. This isn't going to turn you into a genius, but it could be used to build a device to help children with poor numeracy skills to improve their mathematical abilities. And by learning more about brains and brainwaves, we may one day be able to directly improve specific tasks at will.